What's up everyone, Rockham here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a long time since I posted a video about application in the USA as a teacher. So now this video will be about the tips on how you can be a teacher in the USA. I know that I had a lot of videos during my application, the process and how I went here in the USA. But now that I'm here, I also learned a lot of things which I'll be sharing to you guys. So this video is, you know, just to inspire you to apply and hopefully in the future, you also become one of the teachers here in the USA. So I just also want to shout out to Mam Chiki and Kathleen. Kase, meron na kami, Christmas tree, and Belen. Yan, so Pasko Pasko na dito, no? It's Christmas, you can feel the cold weather. Malamig na talaga first Christmas away from the Philippines but we got this so um, let's have the tips again on how you can become a teacher in the USA so first things first you have you have to prepare your documents put your best foot forward and make sure that your documents are really impressive ask someone to proofread your application letter prepare your transcript prepare your clearance if you'll be um, you'll have your job offer you need an NBI clearance if you will be asking about the medical um, if there are medical requirements there's no medical requirements for the J1 visa or for exchange teachers here in the USA so you just make sure that you have your documents and another tip is to make your video presentation or let's say a video of you teaching like a demonstration video i know if you're from department of education we did this we had to make a video especially during the pandemic so if you think that it's really good then you can also attach that to your application and the next thing is you start applying to the schools if you have a friend, if you have a Filipino friend or someone who works in that school in a certain or a specific um, school or a specific state, then good for you. Just like what happened to me. Leia Ann is already here, so it was easier for me to apply. They can recommend you. And also it's easier to adjust if Filipinos are already there. So let's go back again. Um, if you can apply to a specific school or you can search in Google and I mentioned this before if you're for example if you're an EPI they are a visa sponsor that they will be the one choosing the school for you but if you want you can also choose the school that you'll be applying to and then after that you can talk to your HR on the visa sponsor the partner visa sponsor of that's that school or that district so that you'll be able to spend a little less compared to, to us who went to an agency, we had to spend more. Okay, so there are you know pros and cons about it. If you have to, of course, if you have a visa, I mean, if you have an agency, it will be easier. But if you have to do it on your own, it takes a longer time, but of course, you can save money. So it still depends on you on what process you're going to do or what option will be you're going to have okay so again that's the second tip start your application search in google there are a lot of school districts who need teachers okay and then the next one is because you're already applying i also recommend you or also suggest that you search for the crime rate salary cost of living and of course where where will you be staying okay so marami sa mga filipinos um they think that um i'll go to new york because they have um bigger offer i'll go to this city it's popular um i don't want to home i don't want to get homesick so i want a bigger place um, a bigger city but actually the bigger the city is the more expensive the cost of living is so you want to choose 
the big salary but in a state or in a city that has a lower cost of living. Para then you can save more money because again, J1 just stays here for only five years. The H1B visa, I don't have any idea about that. So, um, I actually have an idea, but it's only like the district will sponsor the teacher to become an H1B visa, but you have to stay for like five or six years. You can go back to the Philippines, but you can bring your family with you. So, yun yung H1. So, J1, you only have to, you only have five years. Three years to work, I mean, three years, and then you can extend for for two, which becomes five years in the USA. So again, that's the third tip, no? Uh, make sure that cost of living is not too expensive. I mean, you don't wanna stay in a city that's too expensive and your salary is not, you know, as high as other state has or other school district has. And of course, bigger cities also um, has more, let's say, mas makukulit na mga bata. So, <clears throat> they have students who are, you know, quite problematic compared to smaller cities. And um, in my case, we have Native Americans, we have Navajos. They're very respectful and it's easier to deal with them. So, I feel very lucky and blessed that I'm in this school. The next tip is of course, reach out to a community. If you know that a school has some Filipinos, then reach out to them, ask for help, and as much as possible, um, stay with them and don't hesitate because, you know, Filipinos are very hospitable and very helpful. I know a friend of mine in uh, Georgia, and he has a neighbor, a Filipino neighbor, na parang nag-adopt na din sa kanya. Um, he, that Filipino family helped him while he was there. They were not teachers, but they helped him. So life is easier if you have a Filipino community with you. And ano ha, wag, wag grab ng grab. Ah, apply ko to. I want to apply to school. I just grab this opportunity. You have... Guys, you'll be starting your life over again. It's like another chapter of your life. You'll be leaving your country. So it's a big risk. Make sure that the state you're, that you'll be going to is safe and you have someone you can rely on there. So that's what also happened to me. It took me all three years to be in the USA because I didn't want to apply. And you know, I want to be secured. I want to be in a place where there are Filipinos and I feel so blessed because I have Mam Chiki, I have friend Leia, I have a lot of friends here who helped me um, look for a place to stay, carpool, gala, napakalaking ano, tulong nila kasi because they have stayed here for um, almost five years, more than, more than three years and they have established themselves and they are very willing to help. So I feel so blessed and thankful that um, Ang daming mga Pilipino dito sa atin na trabaho, ang daming teacher, Filipino teachers. And it's, you know, it's a really, a really um, big blessing for me. And life is easier because they are with the, you are with them and they're always ready to help. And another tip is um, before leaving the country, make sure you have the Ito mga, there are, these are the things that I was not able to do. Make sure that you have, um, you're able to have an SPA or let's say um, power of attorney, special power of attorney for your finances in the Philippines and other things that um, you have to process. So you choose someone who can process all of those documents or your finances while you're in the USA. So have an SPA, which I didn't. So it's really important. And then another tip also, open a dollar account. It's very helpful. You can save your money in a dollar account. And then after a few years, 
um, dollar is like um, tumataas. You know, it's it's the value of dollar is getting higher. So if you have a dollar account in the Philippines, it's it's a big investment for you. Okay, what other tips do I have for you guys? Mm, I think that's it. Oh, um, and thank you, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I, I just want to help through this video. Um, I know some people are inspired by my videos. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'm very sorry for those who are chatting on Messenger in my Facebook page. That's Sir Migs. Yeah, because I'm. it's my also my first year here. So I'm still adjusting. I have a lot of things to do. So I cannot respond. So I'm making this video so that I can help you guys. And hopefully, I can make more videos about teaching here in the USA. So, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. So, that's it. Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a wonderful time with your family in the Philippines, especially if you're applying in the USA. You don't know. That might be your last Christmas with them because next year you'll be in the USA. So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment down below so that I can also give my support to your channel. Bye!